Because head and neck is such a complicated disease and has so many different ways of treating it, we need perspectives from everyone involved. Surgeons, medical oncologists who give chemotherapy, radiologists, the people that read the scans for us, radiation oncologists like myself, even pathologists who look at the tumor itself to tell us exactly what kind of tumor it is. We need all of that insight to develop the best treatment plan for every patient. So we meet periodically, at least once a week, to discuss patients' cases as they come through the door, amongst ourselves, determining exactly for that particular patient what their goals are, what the best treatment is. For every cancer patient, we need to stage them. And what does that mean? So basically that means using a combination of scans, like CAT scans and PET scans, actual physical exam, which is really important in head and neck, as well as discussion among different disciplines to figure out exactly where the tumor is, how big is it, and how far it's spread. That tells us what specific type of treatment is appropriate for that patient. With radiation, there's two main ways to deliver it to treat head and neck cancer. The most common way is standard conventionally fractionated radiation. That's a small amount of radiation per day extended over five days a week for multiple weeks, usually anywhere from six to seven weeks. Another type of radiation is called stereotactic radiation. That is very high dose of radiation to a very small area delivered in a limited period of time. The side effects from radiation, particularly that low dose per treatment, many treatments of radiation, come on gradually. They don't happen all at once. Those side effects are like a sunburn. They're a sunburn on the outside, particularly in the neck, as well as like a sunburn on the inside, which means pain inside the mouth and the back of the mouth, decreased taste, and also decreased saliva production because your salivary glands, which make saliva, are receiving radiation. Now, this crescendos gets to its worst about the end of treatment and continues for at least a couple weeks or more following completion. And then many of the side effects, particularly the ones related to that sunburn, improve. Unfortunately, taste effects and salivary effects, although they do improve, probably never quite get back to where they were before treatment. At UPMC, we combine world-class physicians, cutting-edge trials, and caring staff, all under one roof. Not only do we care for you during treatment, but we also have a continuity of care clinic that treats you during and follows you in the months and years that follows your treatment to make sure that any side effects and any long-term consequences are handled appropriately.